Welcome all. My dear friends, let us continue our journey in the world of patents. Okay. So here you can see the key term here written is opposition. Okay. And in the picture we can see there are very two beautiful roses but yeah both are not similar. Okay. So as they are having different properties, different features, opposition can happen. Okay. So here the key term I have taken is opposition. Okay. And a great man has said it is opposition which foretells success. Where there is no opposition, there is no success either. That means opposition is not bad. Opposition is also needed sometimes. Some many more examples can be given that for a democracy, uh, opposition is needed. So many things are there we can say. So literally, literally we can uh, cite various examples on opposition. Okay. So here just take a look what happens. Huh? That means this flower is opposing this flower. Okay. Just a symbolic picture, nothing else. Why I am telling all these things? Because the form number we are going to discuss today is form number 14. Okay. So, till now we have discussed about all the relevant sections and uh, rules based on up to, actually up to form number 13. That means form number up to form number 13, we have completed all the relevant rules and sections. Okay. So, today is the turn for form number 14. And form number 14 talks about opposition. Okay. That's why I have told you so many things. Okay. So, this is the literary world. This is the nature we can say. But we will go to our legal world and see and observe and watch how the term opposition has a very significant value there. Okay. So, let us continue. Go to form number 14. The title is Notice of Opposition to Amendment or Restoration or Surrender of Patent or Grant of Compulsory License or Revision of Terms thereof or to a Correction of Clerical Errors. So, all these things are included here in form 14. It is a lengthy one. The title is a lengthy one. Okay. And the related sections and rules are also, um, we can say the number is more. Sections related are, the related sections are 57, 61, 63, 78 and 87. And the related rules are 81, 85, 87, 98, 101 and 124. Fine. So, here let us um, briefly describe the related sections. Section 57 says, Amendment of application and specification or any document related thereto before the controller. Section 61 is procedure for disposal of applications for restoration of lapsed patent patents. Section 63 is surrender of patents and the title of section 78 is power of controller to correct clerical errors etc. Section 87 procedure for dealing with applications under section 84 and 85. Okay, and the related rules we will discuss briefly. Rule 81 says, amendment of application specification or any document relating thereto. Rule 85 says, opposition to restoration under section 61. Rule 87 is surrender of patents. Rule 98 is notice of opposition under section 87, subsection 2. Rule 101 is procedure to be followed in case of application under section 88 subsection 4. Rule 124 is manner and time of opposition to the making of corrections. So, you can see as a whole here there are a number of keywords. One keyword is amendment, one is restoration, one is surrender, 
grant of compulsory license revision of terms correction of clerical errors so, errors, so many terms are there and here you can relate these terms here section 57 amendment of application rule 81 amendment amendment of application okay and here section 63 is surrender of patents and here rule 87 is surrender of patents fine so similarly you can relate all this uh, particularly the subsections of the sections and the sub rules of the rules with this form number 14. So let us proceed to form number. After refreshing our memory from the old slide about form number 14 and its relevant sections and rules, it automatically comes to our mind that if form number 14 talks about opposition, then also that means earlier we have also read about some more forms which were talking about the term opposition. Yes, it automatically comes. So, that's why I have prepared a table here for comparison. Okay, so let us see. Form number 7, the title is Notice of Opposition. Form number 7A, the title is representation for opposition to grant of patent and form number 14 says notice of opposition to amendment or restoration or surrender of patent or grant of compulsory license or revision of terms thereof or to a correction of clerical errors okay so when you compare these three forms i think it will be crystal clear for you to differentiate between the three and you will not be confused anymore. Okay friends, that's why I have tried to um, compare all the three forms here for a clear understanding. Fine. Now, let us proceed by picking a rule of the Patents Rules 2003 as amended by Amendment Rules 2021. And today I have taken rule number 124 and this comes from chapter 16 whose title is miscellaneous. Okay. And, and the title of rule number 124 is manner and time of opposition to the making of corrections. Okay. That means it deals with the manner and Time of opposition. That means in what way it should be conducted. Okay. That means the corrections. That's why the title is manner and time of opposition to the making of the corrections. Making of corrections. Fine. So let us proceed to know the detail about the rule. Fine. Okay. Now we will go to the sub rules of rule number 124. There are in total four sub rules for rule number 124 and I have picked up the key terms or the key phrases so that we can easily recall the sub rules of the respective rule. Fine. So let us proceed. For sub rule 1, the key term is any person interested. For sub rule 2, the key term is notice of opposition. Fine. And for sub rule 3, the key term or the key phrase is copy of the notice and the statement. And for sub and for sub rule 4, the key term or the key phrase is hearing of the opposition. Okay. So by remembering this key terms or the key phrases only, you can recall the whole sub rules of the respective rule. That is rule number 124. Okay. So again, I would like to say that you can choose your own key terms. Fine. So, let us proceed for the detailed explanation of the sub rules. Okay. Okay. Sub rule 1 of rule number 124. This says, any person interested may at any time within 3 months from the date of the advertisement of the request for correction give notice of opposition to the controller in form 14 in duplicate. Okay. So, we have to refer section 78 and form number 14. Where form 14 is notice of opposition to amendment or restoration or surrender of patent or grant of compulsory license or revision of terms thereof or to a correction of clerical errors. Okay. And section 78 is power of controller to correct clerical errors etc. So 
by looking at the title itself you can very well know the closed relationship between the section the rule and the form fine okay so here just take a look here we can see the star marks in red and inside the square bracket what does it mean this means come to here this means the words in the official gadget are omitted okay dated december 2004 effective from 1st january 2005 that means some words were there but now it is not there it is deleted or omitted as per the amendment act fine so uh, we can say just let me analyze this sub rule any person interested the person is any person interested okay any person interested at any time any time means within 3 months from the date of the advertisement of the request for correction that means there must be an advertisement okay or uh, there must be an advertisement um uh, telling or the advert just a second the advertisement must contain the request for correction okay so we will go to the date of the advertisement of the request for correction okay and within 3 months from that date okay so within this time period any person interested give notice of opposition to the controller and how how that means via what via form number 14 in duplicate so very simple friends the we can say who does it any person interested is the answer okay what is the time period within 3 months from the date of the advertisement of the request for correction this is the answer then gives what the answer is notice of opposition to whom the answer is controller by a what the answer is 14 in duplicate fine so Uh, from the single sub rule i can make at least 5 to question 5 to 6 questions as you can see okay so in this way if you try to analyze and remember you can uh, very easily remember this sub rule fine so let us proceed to the next sub rule sub rule 2 says such notice of opposition shall be accompanied by a statement in duplicate setting out the nature of the opponent's interest the facts on which he relies and the relief which he seeks fine same thing what this uh, that means this type of uh, steps we have already discussed for some other rules as well if you can remember you can uh, find it fine so what it is written here such notice of opposition that we have just discussed for sub rule one such notice of opposition shall be accompanied by a statement okay that means it should it should be supported by a statement in duplicate setting out the nature of opponent's interest what is that nature of the opponent's interest okay and we can say the facts on which that means along with the facts on which he relies okay and the relief which is six and the relief which is six in terms of maybe some payments or some royalties fine so now i hope it is pretty clear in first of rule we have discussed the manner that means what where whom by a what everything we have discussed sub rule 2 is the next step where such type of notice of opposition is accompanied by a statement in duplicate which sets out the nature of opponent's interest okay the facts on which he relies and the relief which he seeks fine okay next sub rule 3 says a copy of the notice of the note sorry a copy of the notice and of the statement shall be sent by the controller to the person making the request now if the ball is in the controller scored what he does he sends a copy of the notice and of the statement to the person making the request fine simple next sub rule 4 says 
the procedure specified in rules 58 to 63 relating to the filing of reply statement leaving evidence hearing and costal so far as may be applied to the hearing of the opposition under section 78 as they apply in the hearing of the, the in the hearing of the opposition proceeding fine so we can see here we have to refer uh, from starting from rule number 58 and ending at rule number 63 and the relevant section here is 78 section 78 has the title power of controller to correct clerical errors etc okay and you can see a single star mark here and inside the square bracket there are some words what does it indicate this indicates that the words in the square bracket are substituted as per 28 december 2004 for what for to the hearing of the opposition to the grant of patents okay and with effective from 1st january 2005 that means earlier this was to the hearing of the opposition to the grant of patents and now it is in the hearing of the opposition proceeding fine this is the amendment or we can say this is the substitution fine so now let us analyze the sub -rule. the procedure specified in rules 58 to 63 that means the procedures as per the rules starting from 58 and ending in 63 relating to the what relating to the filing of reply statement leaving evidence hearing and costs fine so so far as may be applied to the hearing of opposition under section 78 okay and this hearing of, of opposition as per section 78 will be the same as in the hearing of the opposition proceeding that means for the normal opposition proceedings this type of uh, statement also we have discussed in some previous rules fine so you just try to correlate okay so this way friends all the sub rules of rule number 124 are completed so please go through each slide please go through the barrack as well and uh, if you have any questions any queries any compliments please put them put them down in the comment box okay okay so keep learning and enjoy learning bye the reference is patents act 1970 as amended by amendment act 2005 and the patents rules 2003 as amended by amendment rules 2021 okay friends thank you all for watching my video and listening to me okay so please like share and subscribe the channel and please put down your compliments, comments and queries in the comment box. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Stay safe, stay blessed. Jai.